Hi guys and gals, hope you're doing all right. Right, we're going to do a short, quick, rapido video today on the crop tool in raw therapy. Uh, something an awful lot of people seem to have a massive problem with. And oh dear, 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 it, it is. It's, it's something that to me is a little bit over-engineered. I'm aiming this video more at people who are trying to come to raw therapy from the likes of Lightroom. And first off, I'm just going to hop back into Lightroom. And we'll look at this image, and there it is. And I don't like this highlight at the top, and what's driving me nuts is this out-of-focus tree trunk. Okay, so we're all familiar with the sort of methodology where we hit the crop tool, uh, we've got a bounding box which is at the full image and all we do is just grab the left hand side and it's constraining the crop to the original aspect ratio of the image. Okay, so we can do that. So now we've cropped out that tree and then all I want to do is just move it down so I'm not cropping any of the foreground out. And we can go and click done, just like that, and we're sorted. Uh, but it's not seemingly that simple inside of raw therapy. Oh, perish the thought that anything in raw therapy could be simple and straightforward. <laughs> oh dear. Right, now there's a couple of things. Um, it, first off, I will say that in the crop tool, you more than likely have a PPI of 600. It doesn't really matter. Um, I've just changed it to 300, but it, it doesn't really matter. It's of no consequence. So don't worry about it if yours says 600. Now, I just need to guide you around the crop box, first of all. Um, the first thing you've got is these left and top coordinates, and you'll see they both set at zero. Um, this means it's, the, it's basically the pixel address of where any crop will start and it's zero left and zero top. So it is the top left hand corner. And here's the thing, if I activate the crop tool, and there you go, and it starts at the top left hand corner. Now then, here is my first tip. Because what happens usually is people will drag like that, and they'll let go and then nothing happens <laughs> because the bounding box doesn't disappear and strangely enough neither do the goddamned pixels that you're trying to get rid of <laughs> and this is where people reach an impasse with raw therapy and go oh gee i just can't be bothered right so first of all let us put that crop box back where it was so here's my top tip. When you click and activate the crop tool, if you see this bounding box, come down to your preferences, which is don't forget the little graphic equalizer icon, and come over to image processing, and down at the bottom, you will see crop editing. Guides shown when not editing the crop, and it's at frame by default. If you just click and switch that out to none and then click OK, oh, look at that. Our little dotted line bounding box has disappeared. How cool's that? But we've still got the crop tool active. And when you'll notice as soon as I hover over an edge, my crop aspect ratio tool comes back. Now, aspect ratios. Lock aspect ratio as image, or we can lock it in any number of preset ratios. All righty. And the second as image for lock aspect ratio is either as image, portrait, or landscape. Right, so you can put a crop in here uh, that's in portrait, same as the image, and then you could actually switch it out to a landscape crop. So you're actually taking a horizontal slice out of a vertical image. Why you would want to do that? I have no idea. But well, there you go. That's what some people will like. Anyway, I just leave it set as image. Keep it as a locked aspect ratio. 
and we will just hover over the corner till we get that double-headed arrow going diagonally and we will just crop out and it's cropping relative to the bottom right corner now and so you can see we've cropped 203 images off the left uh, 203 images oh, look at me 203 blooming pixels off the left hand edge and 304 pixels off the top and that's great ha! but we can still see the goddamn crop pixels can't we and this is what freaks people out now then here's the thing you consider these four tiles up here by default you'll see it's the one on the left which is activated and it says background color of the preview is theme based all righty themes are in your preferences under the general tab appearance theme two are gray yeah i quite like two are blue actually but i just can't be bothered changing it but so there we go now then <laughs> We don't have themes in Lightroom, do we? We don't have themes in Photoshop. We don't really have themes anywhere. So why are we using this theme background color? Really, really odd. Look what happens if I change the background color. Let's go and say I change it from theme to black. Yeah, now you could possibly imagine, yes, well, those crop pixels are still there. What happens if I change it to white? No, no, they're not. They are not being displayed. But of course, you can't process an image on a black on a black background. Not really. Uh, you can in special circumstances, but you know I've done videos on that before. And you certainly can't process images on a blooming white background. But if we go for a middle grey, yeah, how's that? So there you go. Our crop pixels are now no longer visible in the image. And we don't have a dotted bounding box to annoy us either. So there you go. How to make the crop tool inside of Raw Therapy look more like a crop tool that you're more familiar with in a and other piece of software. Uh, all right, guys and gals. Hope you found that useful. Hope you found it interesting. And uh, yeah, there you go. Give it a thumbs up if you uh, feel so inclined. Leave a nice comment below. And until the next time, stay safe, stay well, keep taking the pictures, and I'll speak to you soon. Toot!